Hey crafty friends! Today I have a fun little tutorial. Um, may not be little, so just bear with me. But I've made these awesome um, mixed media tags. And I saw a couple of videos, one from uh, Lovely Scrappin', um, a couple of other people, and I took some of their ideas and I've kind of altered them a little bit and made it kind of my own little design. So this tag says believe and then this one says free as a bird. And these were actually my test um, tags for a mini album I'm working on. So I thought since I had a bunch of tags that I needed to make that were similar to this, I would share kind of the process that I went through. So these are the two tags that I've made and um, I'm going to show you kind of the process that I went through. So, and there's the backs. The backs are kind of plain and I left them plain on purpose because I'm going to be putting um, a sentiment on the back. So um, I didn't want too much on the back, but it is very fun. The, the texture is really nice. So um, it's got some stamping and some tool and some different stuff on it. So uh, again, I'm just going to go through the same process that I went through for these. Uh, this one I inked first and then started layering stuff on. This one I um, started layering and then I, I did my sprays and inks. But I think I like the way um, this one came out with the, the inking first. So that's what I'm going to go through. So before I start inking. Um, I don't have any of the Tim Holtz printed tissue paper, so I'm going to be making my own. Um, and this is just some scrap tissue paper from Christmas. Um, you know, you can buy it pretty cheap at the Dollar Tree or whatever. Um, and these tags I cut from um, the heavy duty manila envelopes. And I just, um, my page sizes are, uh, I believe, a five by six. Um, so I needed some, some custom tags that would fit in my mini album. So, um, the tag measures, let me find my ruler and I will tell you this tag measures, um, let's see. five and oh, I forgot. This is one of my quilting rulers. So it has a quarter inch seam allowance on it. Um, this measures five and a half by four. So that's the size I'm, I'm going to be using. So the tissue paper that I need is enough to wrap the whole thing. So I just kind of fold it like that. And then I take my scissors and I just cut what I need. Like that. You could tear it. You don't have to be super precise about it. Um, and then I'm going to be using my um, I have some stays on in timber brown and jet black, and that's the um, colors that I'm going to, going to use for the stamping part. And I have a bunch of random stamps. Um, this is from uh, Art C. It's called Enjoy the Journey, and it's a uh, um, it comes with some dies and stamps. And so I'm just going to use the stamps. I also have um, this stamp set, and I do not know. I threw away the package, so I don't know who makes it. Um, so I'm going to be using this, um, probably some of the, the flower in this one. Um, I have, excuse the arms. I have this big honkin' stamp from Stamp Abilities. Um, this is the faded text background and it's uh, like a French script. Um, this little bird came out of that package. This stamp is 
Um, it says fly toward your dreams on butterfly wings and it's a stamp set from um, Hot Off the Press. And I have this stamp from uh, Hampton Arts, Seven Gypsies. And I do not know the name of it, but it's from the um, collections from the journey. I don't know, but it says, it has lots of stuff on it. It says uh, heart, gift, life creates energy. Um, anyway, it's kind of like a faded um, text background. And I think that's all the stamps that I have out. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's all. I just grabbed some random stamps that I, that I liked. Um, oh, I also have like a postage stamp and this little tag, um, ticket stamp. Um, and it's from Momenta from 2013. Um, it's just a, just a tag. And I got it from, I think I got this one from, um, Tuesday morning. So we're just going to play around. And the first thing I did was I took the, oh yeah. And I have this fun textured background from Hampton Arts, um, um, art, etc. It does not have a name, so I don't know what it is, but it's just a fun texture, faded texture background, which I, I really like. Um, and I may or may not use it. I didn't use it on the last one, but I'm just going to do some of my own little collage stamping. And the first thing I did is I took the Timber Brown and I inked up this whole stamp and just stamped it as like a background stamp, um, which was fun. Make sure it's going the right direction here. And I just stamped it on there. And I don't care that this is crinkly. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to crinkle it anyway. So I'm just creating some background text. And it can overlap, you know, like I said, it's, it's a background, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I inked the wrong side. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Okay. So there's my background, uh, text. And I did that in brown um, because I want the next layer to show up in the black. And you could do the reverse, but I wanted the images to be um, a lot more noticeable than, um, than the text. Sorry. Cleaning my mess up here. I don't want all that brown mixing in. Grab a paper towel. Alright. So now that I have my text, set that one aside. Probably see my cup of coffee. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the black stays on. Again, this is in jet black, and I'm just going to pick out some random stamps um, and start stamping. Oh yeah, I have this little bird stamp from Hero Arts, and I have this wing. Stamp from Judikins, which I, I love that stamp. And then I have this one from Hampton Arts that says, Be the Change You Want to See in the World, um, which is a Gandhi. It's a, this is a graphic 45 stamp from Hero Arts. So um, I think 
think I'm going to start with, um, hmm, I'm going to, I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to start putting stamps in random places like a collage and I don't care that they don't come out great because um, like I said I'm I'm gonna be crinkling this anyway um, where's my little block my little block is a mess I'm just filling in in places just kind of creating my own little collage. Oh yeah, I also have this clock, which I love. And I'm gonna make sure it's going the right direction. My little birdie. Again, I'm just filling in gaps and places, just having fun. And you can go off the page. Again, it's just random stamping. Mm, I may not use that, but let's go with this. And I'm off camera just a bit. Sorry. There's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just filling in spots. And that's too big to go there. So we'll put it right here. Let's see. I've got... Ooh, live the life you imagined. I like that one. That'll fit inside that tag, I'm sure. The ticket. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see. I'm not being real picky. Just filling in. Random stuff. No, I'm getting quiet again. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas and are preparing for a very happy new year. Oh, let's go with enjoy the journey. I like that one.
Hmm. Let's go with another bird cage. We'll go another flower. And all right, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe one more bird. There, and maybe one more. Need something else small. Hmm. I don't have another small one. So maybe we'll just do another flower. I'm trying to fill in this spot right here. There we go. Again, it's just, you know, random stuff. No real... Um, pattern or goal in mind other than to fill up the fill up the page all right so that's all done put these all away clean up my mess on here. Get all these stamps out of the way. All right. So let me clean this mess up so I don't get black stuff everywhere. All right, so now I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to, um, I'm going to just spray it with, I have a bunch of the Lindy Stamp Gang and I believe this is the Industrial Chic set. So um, there's the Rusty Lantern Lime, um, Steampunk, Steampunk Sepia, uh, Shabby Turbine Teal, and time travel teal and then there's um, steel shimmer which I think is it's really just a like a light gray shimmer so um, the mini album I'm doing is um, a gray and black and silver so uh, I just want pops of color and I don't want it too dark so um, I think I'm gonna go with this shabby turbine teal. That's pretty. Should probably turn on my heat gun. Oh yeah, and I have this. Um, this is Tattered Angels in. Um, this is cherry. And this one is Plum Jelly, which I really like. And then this one is Blackberry Cordial, I think. Um, can't promise that one. Because it doesn't have a name on it. I just tried to match it. All right, this one, um, I know it says Cherry, but it has like some copper in it, which is really kind of interesting. So I think think I'm gonna spray yeah like that um, let's go with some green this is that rusty lantern lime yeah that looks good 
good. And this one is the Steampunk Sepia, which is kind of like the manila folder color. That's cool. And I'm gonna, I'll go with some Blackberry Cordial. Just some more color. All right, so I'm gonna dry that. All right, and for the back, I'm just gonna do some this was um, shabby turbine teal. Let's do some of this steel shimmer. We'll go with some blackberry cordial and a little more of the sepia. There we go. All right, that's pretty dry. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is um, wrap the tag in tissue paper. I know it looks weird right now, um, and it doesn't look like it's gonna you're gonna see it, but you'll see the color in just a minute because I'm going to cover the whole thing in the Deco Arts um, decoupage in matte. Ooh, got ickies. All right, so I'm just using a big a big brush and I want it a pretty I want a pretty heavy coat on here and the colors are gonna kind of blend a little bit and that's okay by me so you want a, a pretty a pretty nice coat on here okay and then we're gonna Stick the tag, or stick the um, our fancy printed um, tissue paper on the top of that. And when we lay it on here, we're going to kind of scrunch it a little bit to, to give it just a little more um, texture. Like so. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing to the back. See, that's what I meant by it doesn't matter if the images that we stamped were real straight because we're kind of creating some texture. Okay, got all squished down. Get a baby wipe and wipe up my glue mess. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, now that that's on there, we're going to cut off the excess. Just be careful not to cut your tag. There's that part. Now we're going to lay another layer of um, decoupage on top of this. And as we do that, we're going to be putting on some of this. Um, I've got some black tool that I like. Um, so I'm going to cut some for both sides. So just enough to kind of get some on there. And as we're, like I said, as we're doing the decoupage um, seal, 
we're going to lay this over the top of it. So again, you want a pretty, pretty thick layer here because we're sealing and sticking something else to it. down in there. Get it really nice and stuck. And now I'm going to hit this side with my heat tool. Um, the, the decoupage is going to bubble a little bit, which will give it a little bit more texture, but it will also help kind of um, melt the tool into the glue. So, all right. And what you'll also notice is that the tool kind of melts a little bit. It won't really melt and stick to anything, but what that will allow you to do is to pull off the excess um, that's around the sides because you don't want that. You could cut it, um, but it's just easier since it's already melting. Um, it just kind of pulls off. Or you could, you know, flip it over and glue it, um, use some more decoupage and glue it to the surface, which would be, you know, kind of fun too. But I just pull it off. All right, that looks pretty good. And let's do the other side. Again, you need a, a pretty thick layer. You could use, you know, you don't have to use the decoupage from Deco Arts. There's, you know, make your own, um, use some matte medium, whatever you want to do. Okay. Put my tool on here. And get that stuck. Let's dry that. All right. And again, just going to pull off these edges that singed. What you could also do is hold the um, heat tool over a certain area and it'll burn a hole um, into, or it'll, it'll start to melt. And I don't know, I don't know if any of mine show it. It doesn't. But the, the tool stuff will melt um, and you can put little like melty holes in places, which would be kind of fun. But I didn't do that. Again, I'm just pulling off these frayed or singed edges, which I can actually take. some kind of distressing tool. This is actually a pedicure tool that I got at the Dollar Tree, so it works. pretty good. Clean 
turn that off. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is some um, texture. So I have my, there it is. Sorry, let me get all these out of the way here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm making a mess. Okay, so I have my um, Deco Arts Media Modeling Paste, and I have a couple of Deco Arts, or a Deco Arts stencil, which is this one right here, uh, which I used on these two tags. This one is the Believe, and this one is the Free as a Bird. Um, but I also have um, this just dot pattern, um, and I think I do want to use this bird. I really like it. So I may just do the bird, because there's a lot of birds on this side. Um, not so many on that side, but um, let's see. I like this side for the, well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with it. But I am going to put a bird on here, because I like it. I like it a lot. So I have my modeling paste. Just gonna... You don't want too much because you don't want it too thick, um, but you don't want it too thin either. So I'm just going to spread some of this on here. Very careful that your stencil doesn't shift. I'm gonna clean that off real quick. Whatever I did with my baby wipe. Oh, I didn't know it. You wanna clean your stencils rather quickly after you use them with this modeling paste because that stuff does get sticky. It hardens and messes up your stencils. Pretty good. You can see where my stencil shifted just a bit. So I'm going to clean that off. Just kind of sharpen the edge there a little bit. Alright, and now I'm going to hit it with my heat tool. Close that up. It's not going to be totally dry, but um, I'll be able to do what I want to do next, which is spray some more color on Mingli the bird. So um, he needs something to kind of mask, mask it off. Um, so I'm just going to take some paper towel. Just kind of halfway cover the parts that I don't 
really want sprayed. So I just want to give him a little shot of color, but not too much. So I'm going to go with this, um, what color is this? This is the Time Travel Teal. That. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of water and just kind of smooth out the water droplets. And I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm just going to kind of clean up some of the extra dark that's around him just to bring back the, um, the color that was underneath. Kind of blend that out just a bit. Now I'm going to hit it with my heat tool. And I have blue everywhere. Alright. And it's super shimmery. It's very pretty. Alright. Let me get some of this mess out of the way here. fingers. All right. Um, I think I'm going to throw in some more of the sepia color. Yeah. And then I might do just a little more of this blackberry cordial. That looks good. dry that off. All right. And because this is going in a um, pocket, I can't, I can't do too much to it. Um, otherwise it, it won't fit in the pocket. But um, that I think, get up. I think that will be rather nice. And like I said, I have, um, the sentiments that, uh oh, um, I'm going to cut out and I'm going to create a, um, kind of like a flip, uh, flip open little flap, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> um, to put these in or a couple of them because they're, they're a little bit long and they won't all fit. But um, basically, I'm just going to stick the sentiment on the back. This is not real straight. Clean it up. but um, So that whenever sh the, the lady I'm giving this to pulls out the tag, there's a piece of art on the front and then the sentiment on the back. Um, but basically, that's the process I went through um, to create 
these tags um, so that you get the you know the stamping collage in it and some some different textures and um, on this one this was a uh, one of the art tiles that I made um, which was a lot of fun and this one is just a piece of a um, uh, it's not really chipboard I got it in like the wood and dollhouse section at Hobby Lobby I think it was um, so it's a little bird cage with some birds in it um, but these were a lot of fun and then I used some of my um, Lindy's Magicals and some of the sprays to create to color the rose and these are the I am roses roses I am roses roses um, anyway they're those were a lot of fun too so I think what I can do is take some bling I have some bling some more of this little bling and I don't like the the sticky on the back so I'm going to use my hot glue gun hot I just burnt the crap out of my finger I've been doing that all morning wow that hurt so I'll just stick some some bling on there let me uh use my tweezers cuz that hurt See, the little glue thingies come off. I don't like that. So, I'm going to use my tweezers this time so that I don't burn my finger. There we go. So there's some bling. Man, that hurts. And I'm gonna put a eyelet in it. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use my nope. I use the silver ones. Not silver, but you know. Whatever color these are. And I can't get the package open. I have all kinds of a mess and I am totally not organized today. the biggest hole um, that I have and I'm just eyeballing the center it doesn't really matter You can add your fibers. Um, for this one, I just added it some tool and some um, the clear, not clear, uh, white, um, whatever that's called, that stuff, that ribbon, um, to it. So I don't have any handy, um, but you can add kind of whatever, whatever trips your trigger and makes you happy and I don't even have any of my silver that I had out someplace I can't find it I can't find anything in this mess I don't know where it went anyway I'll add some ribbons and things later because um, I can't find it right now that's that's a shame I've got gold but no silver um, so you could even add, you know, you can add some rub-ons or some other little tags. 
you know, whatever. Those I don't, I'm not going to add those because they're too big. Um, ooh, what I might do is, I've got some metal corners. I've got all kinds of stuff, but I don't think I like any of those right now. So, um, at any rate, here's the same, this is the same technique I used and then I just, you know, um, embellished it the way, the way I wanted it. So same basic technique. Uh, like I said, I'm leaving the back pretty plain because, um, that's where my sentiment is going. And actually for this one, um, I can use my fancy scissors. Go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. These scissors. I like them, but I hate them. And you all probably know exactly what I mean. Sometimes they just don't cut through the paper the way it's supposed to. Maybe I was too close to the edge. But these are also really old scissors. Just so you guys know, you're probably reading that while I'm doing this. Um, a lady at work is um, transferring to a different department. And so um, I thought what a really nice kind of going away, see you later kind of gift would be um, a scrapbook or a mini album of um, different pictures that we've taken of her um, over the last 10 years and um, little well wishes from um, people that she's worked with and kind of put it into a, a little mini album for her. Um, so I thought that would be kind of fun if I can ever get it finished. I'll probably get it finished sometime either today or tomorrow. I'd like to give it to her on Sunday because she starts her new job on Monday or new position, new whatever. Um, so, all right. And then I'm just going to ink the edges of that. And I think I'm going to use, oh, let's go with some walnut stain. Kind of grungy. So there's that. And then I have some. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. I have this um, craft glassine, um, the Tim Holtz stuff. So I think, by the way, this stuff stinks. I don't know if you've ever messed with it, but it really kind of stinks. So, I'm going to cut 
some of that. Make sure it still fits on there. But what's cool about it is, whenever you wrinkle it up, it shows the, the texture of the wrinkle. And then I'm going to rub some of the walnut stain on it. Just so those cracks show up. Ooh, and what I may do is add a little spray. All right, so I'm just going to stick this on here, like so, and stick that on there, like so. And there you have an awesome tag. Let me get my, um, let me just glue that down.